Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hollow Dragoncraft. On today's episode, episode 2, we're going to paint a mini. Well, repaint a mini. Um, kind of been used a lot, and he has just about lost his paint. So we're going to dive deep into painting a mini. What you want to do first is get your paint. <coughs> Put it in your paint, paint base. So, this is what we're going to do. Take you a one inch brush, or whatever brush you have that you can find, you know, whatever you can get that is budget friendly, that fits in your budget and helps you create a cool world. It's your world, remember that. So, you just wanna take some paint, I'm gonna move the camera down so it is more on this guy. Forgive me, I'm filming on my phone. All right, so we're gonna take this guy and just go back over his armor here, touch it up, make it a bit lighter already telling the difference this is my dwarf I play as a dwarf I am Goran Frostbeard I like to uh, put on my dwarven voice when I play and uh, you know all that good jazz D&D is what has really got me into uh, arts and crafts. Like, I've always built things, but D&D has really uh, honed that skill, I guess you would say. I used to do woodworking, and uh, I still do from time to time. But D and D is where it's at. Think about it all day, every day at work. Of new campaigns to, to do and stuff like that. You know, it's just uh, it's fun. Get to get out of the real world for a little while and into uh world of your own making or someone else's making if you play with a somebody that you're not the DM which you know a lot of people don't want to be the DM um, I like to do both it's fun to uh, character build and build worlds and uh, see how people react when you put them in situations quite funny sometimes so as you can see starting to uh, just the armor getting his armor a little better he'll look way more better once he's done but just take your time when you're painting a mini and uh, you know it'll turn out how you want it to turn out so let me put this back down about got his armor as good as we're gonna get it after repainting now you can if you so choose I kind of wanted to keep the color schemes and so I know where to uh, paint but you can reprime it all you know wash him off reprime him or her and uh, give them new life but wanted to keep the color scheme so that's why I'm just touching him up basically um, I like to use uh, D&D paint the actual D&D brand paint um, 
it's unique Walmart paint use acrylic paint um, whichever is just easier for you so you do want to take your time and brush out the details in like their chain mail and their uh, whatever kind of armor they have I always keep cloth nearby so I can wipe my brush off I just took an old rag that we don't use no more and it's covered in paint now all right now let me get the metallic blue here the electric blue And hit all his spots that I wanted to be blue. He's already looking a world better. I know probably in the video you can't really tell. And hopefully this isn't boring. Um, but it is really fun to do. Just to be creative. Uh, been trying to get some people at work into D and D. Work in a factory, by the way. Uh, building radiators. My name is Zach. By the way, I probably didn't say that in my first video, but I'm Zach. It's almost stress relieving to uh to paint. It's kinda like you know, going outside in the woods and camping for a day or two, just forgetting real life troubles and drama and just focusing on one particular task. And thinking how cool it will look once it is up on the table. And how all your party is going to be like, wow, that's, that's awesome. Starting to come along. Tell a, a difference. Especially once we repaint his beard and uh, all the. Uh, leather working that's on him and. All that good stuff. Now some people will take and. Uh, get some clay stick on the bottom and get you a cork and you can place it on the cork and you can paint like that I always just attach my bases and hold on to my bases I feel like I have better control but to each his own like I said just have fun enjoy what you're doing no race Unless you have a game that weekend and you're scrambling to uh, create things, but I found that I've played with minis that are unpainted and, you know, you still have fun. Just say that they, uh, they're ghosts or you're in a world that has lost pigment.
Now the hard part about painting these is the detailed work. Once you get down to the nitty gritty of the stuff that is on them. Like he has a, a belt that goes around his body. That I am trying to paint blue. And it is a bit difficult to say the least. brush up here and we will find our brown paint we'll get in here in his beard and I probably should have got a more reddish brown. But I guess he'll just be a different kind of dwarf. He's got a more brown beard. Maybe instead of frost beard, he should be brown beard. Ha ha ha. hearing that noise that is my baby on her monitor she is uh talking in her sleep right now because it is like probably 1 a.m right now just got off work a few hours ago work second shift come to film this for you guys because uh, I really want people to enjoy this and know how to do it and I think my child agrees she's probably saying shut up dad so I can sleep but she'll be alright She can sleep all day where uh, mommy and daddy can't. We gotta go out and make that that dough to put some milk in her uh, her belly. Best thing that's ever happened by far. Having a child. Phenomenal. When she gets a little older, I'm going to teach her how to do these things if she is interested. Hopefully she is. Because what child doesn't like to uh, make things? But you're out of paint. And make her own little world. That she can be the master of. Make her uh, be a dungeon master. You're pretty cool. But hey, if that ain't her thing, you know, that's cool too. Alright. Rainy looking good. Sword's a little bent there. Fix that later. Now, what I like to do with my minis, I found out. Go to Walmart and get you a uh, can of spray paint, just a clear coat of spray paint, and take it outside and just gently go over it. 
go over your mini and that way it helps from people picking them up and moving them around so they don't uh, lose the paint so you're not continuously doing this but I hope you like the video if you do please like and please subscribe it is greatly appreciated and know that with each subscriber I get um, I'm hoping once I get to 500 I will do a, a giveaway and once I get to a thousand I give away just every 500 I'll start doing a giveaway and I'll give away uh, dungeon tiles or terrain minis um, what have you um, we'll take polls and see what people like and want and we'll draw somehow uh, a winner but uh, like I said thank you thank you for watching thank you for taking time out of your day and be inspired and go out and have fun till next time adios